Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We're talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is I feel betrayed. You feel betrayed when you're in the breakup zone. You feel like she used you. You feel like she did something there that was not in accordance with the original contract, moral contract, the agreement that you had together. It's normal to feel betrayed and it's normal to feel used sometimes. The reason why this happens is because when you are in a relationship, you have a certain agreement. And this agreement is we are going to be maybe sexually exclusive with each other. We are going to love each other. We are going to be there for each other. We are going to be honest to each other, transparent. We are going to be responsive. We are going to prioritize our relationship. We are going to stick together even in the moments where it gets difficult. And so imagine that you come to this place where suddenly she goes like, this relationship is no longer working for me. She tells you that and you go like, hang on a sec, why are you running away? We're supposed to be having sometimes challenges. This is okay, we're supposed to stick together. And then she goes like, no, this relationship is no longer for me. And you go like, but I had all these plans for us. I was planning to, you know, we just finished building this house for our children. We just had this plan to travel together what about all these visions? And so the moment she steps out, of course you are going to feel betrayed. The betrayal is the fact that she's no longer sticking there with you. The commitment that you had to be in a relationship together has been dissolved. And so the feeling of betrayal is natural. There's nothing wrong with feeling that. And the betrayal is real. Betrayal means that she's no longer committed to what you used to have together. So these feelings that you might feel, you know, these things that are rising through your system, like she used me, she betrayed me, that's unfair. All those emotions are real. There is something real behind that. Yeah, maybe she used you. Maybe she got you to invest yourself in her life or in the life together. Maybe she got you to change plans for accommodating her. Maybe you moved to her city where she was living. Maybe you've been contributing to her family, to her well-being. You helped her build the business. God knows what, you know, you have been contributing in her life. And then she goes like, mm, I'm out of here. He's no longer serving me. Maybe you have been financially supporting her. Maybe you have been contributing in ways that are so powerful that totally launched a new era in her life. And then she steps out. Maybe even ungrateful. Maybe even angry with you. Maybe blaming you on top of that. Of course you are going to feel betrayed. Of course the feeling of having used, having been used, might be there. And that's okay. See, when you don't have to modify that perception. You don't have to pretend that it's not there. I feel used. It's a, it's a real emotion. And maybe you have been used. That's the thing. It is that these are the kind of behaviors or the kind of things that human beings sometimes do to each other. And you can call that a shadow, okay? What does this mean? It means that the ideal princess or the ideal romantic dream that you had about this woman it's not true. And maybe the fact that you feel used is just a story. Maybe she didn't use you. Maybe you used each other. Maybe you received something from her as well. Something that is precious. That changed your life forever. And so the she used me might be a story that has some ground or maybe not. And it's still a story. It's just a story that you tell to yourself. But the observance, you know, observing the shadows and the aspects of that relationship, where suddenly something comes to the surface and you start seeing certain dynamics where you go like, wow, now I see what has been happening. I'm now a witness to an aspect of how we have been relating that I didn't see before. So those are relationship shadows. 
there are aspects of the dynamics that once you're no longer love and you look at it from the distance, you go like, wow, I've been in a, in a situation where this, this woman, with who I have been investing my time, my life, my energy, I've been putting so much effort into her. And maybe I've not been getting back much out of it. Or maybe I have. Here are the things that I got back. But so what's happening when you go like this into she used me, or you feel victimized in the process, it's the emergence of a certain shadow. It's the emergence of the shadow dynamics in your relationship. I encourage you to sit down, take a moment to pause, watch them, observe them. You will notice that some of them are stories. They're just watching that reality from a certain angle. You're looking at it and you go like, okay, that's maybe a certain perspective. Then you look it, at it from another angle and then you will realize that that perspective is different. So the story that you build around your relationship, who is creating that story? You are, right? You are designing the beliefs that you want to have. You are designing the kind of things that you want to believe or the kind of thought patterns that you want to have concerning your relationship with, with your ex. What happened there in this couple? The stories that you tell yourself about that couple, about that relationship, who is building them? Who is creating them? Why do you choose to highlight certain things more than others? It's a conscious design. It's something that you do consciously. Some of it might be true. Some of it might just be a story. And if you check in the field, you know, if you ask other people, they might reflect on you and a few of those people might have the same story. They might be like, yeah, man, you have been completely used by this woman. Or they might be, no, that's a story. She didn't use you, you used each other. You were there, partnering. That's the kind of thing that you do for each other. You just help each other. She helped you as much as you helped her. You know, it's possible. So take a moment to pause and watch the stories that you have about your relationship. Realize that you are the conscious designer of those stories. What you want to be true, what you will remember, what you want to anchor into your field is really up to you. <laughs>